What's up? This is Vanessa and I came out today to get up with Big Psych. He's a longtime rapper with many, many albums. Rap with Tupac, born and raised right here in California. He's going to talk about some of the projects he's got going on now. California, Tupac, the music business, all that. You already know, Cali Faces. What's up, y'all? This is Big Psych, a thug like Thou Law, live in California, straight out of Inglewood. You know what it do. Cool. So you from Inglewood? Oh, yeah. Born and raised in Inglewood. So what's Inglewood like to someone who has no idea, never been, never been here? Well, the neighborhood looks good. Um, it's more about uh, survival of the fittest. Uh, you got the everyday thing that goes on in South Central because Inglewood is like a, a suburb of South Central. So you got all the people that grew up in like Watts, Compton, um, Long Beach. They moved to Inglewood, thought it was a little better place to live. and. Um, Actually, it is. The houses are cool. Families got morals, but you know, once you come outside, it's sunny California. I mean, Inglewood, like I said, got a lot of killing, got a lot of uh, everyday life, but you know, you gotta got to live and learn and try to, you know, maximize your life in in your environment because you will become a product of your environment. And if you don't see a future on getting out of it, you will never do. You know, you'll stay in the same place. So. Whether you're from Inglewood, Compton, Wise Gardena, it's a big world, so you gotta go see it. And you've been around the world. Oh yeah, been to Japan, Dubai, London, France, um, Canada, and I'm working on some more spots too. Okay. Yeah. So how do them places compare to Cali? Well, one thing I do notice is that they appreciate uh, real life. Hey, let me introduce y'all to somebody too right quick. This is a young up and coming producer, young Tavis. This is my homeboy Mac Bone, young brother. Hell of a producer. He gonna be somebody, so y'all yeah. keep a lookout for him, cause he definitely gonna be somebody. Brand new engineer coming soon. Uh -huh. What's your name? <laughs> my name is Tavis Hunter. You know, got my own little studio in the back. You know, doing a little production work, engineering work. You know, also doing videos. You know, video production work and stuff like that. I'm just doing a little bit of all of it, so you know I want to make sure of everything. You know, one day I'll also own my own company. You know, video and you know audio, sound technician. One day, all that stuff in one. You know. How do people find you? Well, my MySpace is www.th55at.com. You know, I kind of messed up on the email part, but that's it. <laughs> and my Yahoo email is uh, hbone45 at yahoo.com. That's H B O N E 45 at yahoo.com, all lowercase. Okay, cool. You ready, y'all? As y'all can see, you know how to lay it down. All right. That's what it's about, y'all. You know, California got the youngsters coming up, you know, we got to inspire them to be all that they can be. Life is what you make it, you know? You were saying that you sometimes bothers you that people take the wrong message from Tupac songs. They only take the bad, not the good. Yeah, I mean, if you notice, rap gets blamed for the problems of America when all the rappers are is basically, you know, voices of the inner city. And what I mean by Pac, people take the wrong thing from Pac is that a lot of rappers took the, the um, the dissing and type stuff and maybe quote unquote all the what the media blew up blew up of him that was negative instead of the positive things that he did by helping guys like me, like uh, helping the outlaws, all the guys from Thug Life, always giving to people, especially, you know, when we was going places and he was always giving money away to people in the ghetto and it, he was always doing positive things. But They never they talk all, about that. No, they never talk about that. I mean, if you notice, they never gave him a Grammy. They never gave him a BET Awards. He sold more records than all them cats and they ain't got it yet. But I ain't saying that, you know, who am I? <laughs> The, back to the question that you asked, like Japan, France, all those places, even Dubai, all over the country, all over Germany, they, they love the West Coast actually more than the West Coast love themselves. So um, it, it's kind of crazy how life is when you can go someplace and get appreciated because America, we like instant everything. So if you hot today, two weeks from now, you might not be hot. Just think about all them rappers who made songs for the last two years, and they was like one hit wonders. You ain't heard nothing from them, ain't seen them, they ain't got that next hit coming. So it's all about longevity in music, and um, the West Coast has always been that. That's why we get appreciated all over the planet. Is music different now than when it was when you first got in it? Yeah, I think they put more youngsters in. I, what I always say is that they're killing the knowledge rap. Anything that's information, you know, the information rap, they're killing it because 
they don't they don't want people to know things. See, because music turned into be turned into something. That's how they do it in Cali, Harleys and everything. You know? uh, music turned into an information center. So I can say some in California and the cat in Louisiana, the cat in Dubai, the cat in Russia feel the same way. And now we now we talk and now we communicating through music. So if you just put cats to do dance music and make you want to shake your butt all the time, that kills the information. So I think it should be a, a, round, a round of everything. Just everybody should be some information music, party music. Because I like the Soldier Boys and all them too because kids need rap too. So I don't knock them cats. And I love to see a young guy making money, making moves, creating jobs for people. That's what it's about, you know, making sure somebody else eat. A lot of rappers still, it seems like, want to be Tupac. They want to have his popularity. They want people to love them like they, everyone loves him. But why do you think no one's succeeding? <laughs> well, because I, this is what they failed to realize about Tupac. In order for them to be Tupac, they would have to die before they peaked. Right before they peaked, they would have to die. So if you don't, like, you don't die, you, you can't do it. Bottom line. If you don't go die, you're not going to be the next Tupac, because it ain't going to be the next Tupac, straight up. I mean, to me, they, they try to steal more of his, uh, his look, his wildness, but they can't do it. They'll never survive shooting at some police. You'll be locked in jail for the rest of your life. They'll never be able to get shot five or six times and still be able to run around and do some music and rap about it. They, most of nine times out of ten, you're not going to survive it. So, like I said, it's, that was something that won't, won't happen probably in, in our lifetime again. You still making music right now? Oh, for sure. Got a new album coming out called California King. I'm working with a guy named Nickel Nut, young guy from my neighborhood, raw as hell. Gonna be shooting this video. Look out for him. He got a song coming out uh, called Know What I Mean. Um, just, you know, I stay busy. Got a clothing line called Femish. It's a female lounge gear coming out later on this year. So staying busy, trying to get into some movies, just, you know, trying to help young everybody that I can. I can't help everybody. But I try to help as many people as I can, you know? Yeah. Are you, do you do your music independently? Yeah, all mine is independent. Do I, you recommend that? I, 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 every artist should have their own label because you control your destiny. If somebody want to sign you, they got to sign your label because you sign it yourself. Nobody will never own you if you sign to yourself but you. So I tell all artists instead of, it only costs, and this is so much good information for the young rappers, it only costs uh, no more than hundred dollars to start your record company. You go down to the Hall of Records in your town, uh, you fill out the paperwork, your name, address, and name, come up with the name of a company, you go research it if it's clear, you fill out your paperwork, you publish it, now that's your company. You go to the bank, you open up a bank account, uh, in that name of that company, get you a tax ID number, now you got a record company. All the money you get from your, selling your records, you put into your, your, uh, your business account to show them that you're making money. And then you can start getting loans, you can start taking your game to the next level. Hmm, that's some good information. A lot of people don't teach that. Well, see, what I'm, my whole thing now is, I got a, um, a, my record label is a dot com. It's called rideonem.com. And rideonem.com is basically a, a, a center for cats to get information like I just gave you, uh, to get your music distributed. Um, it's going to be like a, a MySpace where you can hang out with your friends and send them there and anybody want to promote something, it's all open for music information that you need to get your job done because most cats will never be able to get their job done. Okay. And what's the website? Rideonem.com. You know, life is what you make it. I always try to leave people with positive thoughts and uh, positive energy and uh, what people, my new thing is what people don't realize that everything that's made, the shirt, this hat, this ground, these, these bars, the cars, everything was an idea before it came reality. And that's the power that God gave every human being to create something from your imagination. So you can become anything you want to be, and I'm living proof of it because I used to just want to be a rapper, but I did everything I had to do to become one. So now, you know, I looked up one day and I was like, damn, I'm straight a rapper. So regardless of what I did before in my life, because I was in the streets and doing things that I'm not proud of, but I'm not ashamed of either, you know, because I adapt to my environment. And, um, you know, you can become anything you want to. Just, just aim for the sky. Sky's the limit with me.